this world they really are but like they, they are. they're so like they look fake they're so crazy and like good you know it's just, it's just amazing like crystal when you get clear. those yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You know, cool. I think if I would have seen these a little bit earlier, I know there's always been some photos, but these type of like crystal clear photos, mm -hmm. I would have changed the direction of my career. I oh. probably would have gone a whole different way because it just looks so neat, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Really cool, really cool. Well, we have pretty, yeah. <laughs> well, we have this uh, really clear sky this afternoon. You can see it all the way across Vancouver and there's the river out towards Oregon. We love this shot. It's a nice day just to be outdoors, even if you're just sitting on a bench or whatever you're doing. It's a really great day for that. Temperatures right now in the 70s. Mount Hood Meadows there. Beautiful scene with some clouds over the top. Lincoln City. I've seen some folks with a kite out there earlier today. So there's a light breeze right now in the north about 5 to 10 miles per hour. But it's a day to just relax on the Oregon coast, bring the kite and just enjoy it. And then over towards the Dells, kind of that blue hazy sky right now. Maybe a little bit of wildfire smoke passing on by some areas. But... I think it's pretty clear out there. The air quality is doing well and we're not going to have any sort of issues, at least for now. And we like to keep it that way, right? Okay, here's what we have going on. Nice dry conditions over the top of us. High pressure taking over, which is going to lead to some warmer weather by the time we get to our Wednesday and Thursday. But we do have a shift in the pattern. It's way out here over the Gulf of Alaska there. And this is going to arrive on Saturday. In fact, the system's going to move to the north and then kind of dip right back on down and I'll unfold that with a weather pattern graphic here in just one second. Satellite and radar though, as we kind of zoom in closer to home, we have that light northerly breeze. It is dry. We will not be seeing any sort of rain today. I'll shift it over so you can see the visible satellite. This is another way to really see the clouds deteriorate there through the Columbia River out towards the Oregon coast. And you can also watch the flow of the clouds coming in from the north there. So we'll keep it a little cloudy out towards Astoria, at least for the meantime. With no clouds around, we are not expecting any sort of rain. Let's make it 47 days without measurable rain here in Portland at the airport. We've had a couple showers that did bring in a quick downpour, but not at the airport. And that's where we keep these measurements there. So the summer rain departure here, we had a very wet June. This is when we started our rain uh, for the summer. But then July showed up. We had a little bit of rain, but we were below average. And so far this August, we've had no rain. With all that in mind, though, since we had that three inches in June, we are not seeing one of our you know, driest summers on record. We've had some in the past where we have only had about a half an inch of rain. 2003 was the most recent there. We only had a half an inch of rain throughout the whole summer of June, July, and August. We're not on this list either, the notable wet summer years. You can see that we've had some summers where June, July, and August collectively brought in over five inches of rain, and the most recent was in 2010. I'm showing you this. Uh, if you're interested in it, we have a whole web article on our website at coin.com. All right, future cast. Are we going to have any rain in the forecast? I don't see it, at least not in the near future here. We get through our Wednesday morning, maybe a couple clouds, a bit of a marine layer out towards the Oregon coast. It does find a way a little bit farther inland as we go into Thursday morning, especially to the south. So you may get a couple raindrops down towards Eugene in the morning hours, but I'm not expecting it here. We get through Friday, a nice sunny day out there, and that goes for Saturday, likely in the afternoon after a couple clouds start to move on in through Saturday morning. But again, we're not expecting any sort of rain with Saturday's event. It's just going to be cooler and a little cloudier. Okay, remember I mentioned that system for Saturday's way up here? Watch what happens. It does shift to the north here. And by the time we get to about Friday, we'll start to notice it. Before that, we have this ridge where the heat's going to spike. We're going to see those temperatures back into the 90s for at least two days, Wednesday and Thursday. But then everything starts to settle down to the south, and this is when we'll start to cool on down. Again, that will likely be on Saturday for at least a day. All right, temperatures right now in the 70s, 78 degrees coming out of Tiger here in Portland. We're at 73, Troutdale at 74. We know it's going to warm on up. I showed you why, too, that high pressure that's moving on in. It's going to be 94 degrees on Wednesday, Thursday at 93 and then, Jenny, so far, it looks like we're going to be cooling down to at least the 70s on Saturday, which should be a nice day. Mm -hmm. I'm keeping an eye on that forecast because uh, the, the model data has been kind of back and forth. So it might get a yes. little bit warmer, but I think somewhere in the upper 70s will probably stamp okay. that forecast. I mean, it was supposed to be hotter on Wednesday and Thursday originally. So. Originally, yes. Yeah. So everything's trending a little See? bit cooler. We'll yeah. take that, right? I like it. All right, we'll be right back with more news and a final check on your forecast.